thank you everybody for joining us. Today we're going to be going over the highlights for the WikiTree Challenge number 17, which was for the Afro-American Historical and Genealogical Society, the Nashville chapter. So we'll go ahead and get started on revealing what we found in our week of working on the ancestors that they provided. For those who don't know, the WikiTree Challenge is one of our, it actually is our biggest ongoing community event. We've been doing it for a few years now, actually, I think this is our third year. So what we do is we grow seven degrees of connections for the seven, seven starting um, people chosen by the guest organization. So let me go ahead and bring those up for you all so you can see what they look like on Wikitree. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the, just a moment, we have some people wanting to join us here. Okay. We have Denise and uh, Nanette and Ruby, Stephanie and Lane are coming in. Excellent. <laughs> we'll wait until they are in here and then I'll go ahead and so welcome everybody. It looks like we have Elaine and Stephanie and uh, Kasi is coming in now. We have Ruby and Nanette. Welcome everybody. I hope everybody's Hi. having a nice evening or for whatever time it is where you are in the world. So I was just going to uh, go through and show the profiles on Wikitree that were provided um, by the partner organization, the Afro-American Historical and Genealogical Society, the Nashville chapter, which we have several in the chat, <laughs> Zoom chat. And just to let everybody know that just came in, um, the this is being recorded. So if you wouldn't, don't want your, um, don't want to be part of the recording just want to listen in you can just stop your video if that's what you'd like to do so this is the space page where we uh, collaborate on the challenge and right here at the top we have links to all the starting profiles if you haven't been on wikitree before we'll kind of go through the profile so you can see what the what a profile looks like, ancestor profile looks like on Wikitree. So here's the first one, Josephine Amanda Groves Holloway, 1898 to 1988. And you can see here all the relevant uh, data for her life. Uh, the dates are right here at the top. And the family relationships are also available on the side there. So you'll note that there's uh, right here across the top, we have a link and a note that this profile is genealogically defined by the US Black Heritage Project, which is um, what is the project that's managing this profile. She's a notable um, ancestor. So that is going to be noted there at the top. And this is a lovely profile. It's got a great biography written up and it's wonderful to have a picture there on the side. So we have um, on Wikitree, we have the ability to have a biography section where we can really flesh out all those uh, dates um, and facts of the profile into uh, a, the story of their life, basically. basically. So you'll... So Oh, so we've got an echo. Somebody who just joined, or um, if somebody, if you can mute, actually, if everybody can mute while we're doing the presentation, then um, that'll probably help with that. And if I can okay, like help with that, let me know. Okay. 
All right, and so her um, profile also, um, another aspect of Wikitree that we have that's really wonderful is we have the ability to add a section for research notes. And I think almost all the profiles, if I remember right, have uh, research notes. It's just another way to collaborate on a profile and share information, work out maybe facts that are in conflict. Um, so that that's kind of what you're seeing here in the research notes. At the end of each of the facts in the biography, you'll see that there's an inline citation. <clears throat> and that takes you down to the sources section where you can see all the sources that are for those facts in the, on the profile. So this is her profile. Again, it's a really great job on the profile that was done here. And you can see here at the top that it's noting that she's a notable connection. And down here, it's saying she has 345 connections. And that's how many connections she has um, within seven degrees of her. So she's at zero and then all, every degree out, like her parents, siblings, and children and spouses would be at one degree away. So that's what that means. And you can see here, right here it says 34 degrees that's how far away she is away from me <laughs> so if you're a wikitree member and you're connected to the tree the main tree then um, you'll be able to whenever you're visiting any other ancestor profiles you'll be able to see their connection to you if you have a relationship with them um, through uh, biological lines then it'll say what that is like a cousin your 14th cousin, three degrees removed. So <laughs> that's uh, that's what that, it'll all be up here at the top. So that's kind of a brief about what the Wikitree profiles look like for ancestors. Um, another thing I just wanted to mention here is the categories section. So these are categories that are relevant for her lifetime. And so you'll see links to the category for Tennessee State University. So if you click into that category, you can see other people that also went to Tennessee or taught at or were somehow related to that university. There's also a link for here, the Greenwood Cemetery in Nashville, Tennessee. I believe, Tanea, you were saying that that's, that's the one of the... Um, one of the members was working on is that something? Yes, we, we have a friend of the society who is working on identifying people buried there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So the next profile is William Edmondson. And he has 172 connections now, also a notable connection. And he's 28 degrees away from me. That's some of the fun parts of. Uh, having profiles on Wikitree here, you can always see how you're related or connected to somebody. So another great picture for him there. Oh, that's lovely. Did we get that from one of the society members? If you click in, have the... to go look. <laughs> well, let's go look. Uh, oh, looks Aowen. like Aowen. She found it on Wikimedia. That's great. So um, that's just a really good point. Every profile on Wikitree and free space pages have an images tab where you can upload images. You can see all the images that are there. Another tab that's available on Wikitree profiles, of course, is the tree apps. Um, and this is, um, just different ways you can view this ancestor's profile and their ancestors or family groups or just different ways you can view their relationships to the main tree. So it's <laughs> what it you'll see here, it, it usually will default to um, whatever you were last viewing. So right now it's trying to bring up ancestor webs, which, which takes kind of a lot, um, but for anybody new on Wikitree, they'll be having the default view of uh, the dynamic tree, I think is the default one. Am I right on that, Karen? Is that what that is? The default one is the dynamic tree? Okay. All right, so Prince Albert- Oh, you caught me switching away. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I 
couldn't tell you. Okay. I'm always just default defaulting to the um, ancestor view. Oh, okay. So Prince Albert Ewing is the next one. And here is his profile. Um, and these are stickers. So that's just something to, uh, there's something about this profile or this person that you wanna kind of highlight. We have stickers for different things. Like you can see, we have stickers for if somebody's a twin. You can have that on the profile, which is really great. Another uh, great aspect of Wikitree is being able to link into what we call space pages. So you'll see here, there's a link to Traveler's Rest Plantation. Oh, that's to a, sorry, that's to a Wikipedia page. But um, the US Black Heritage Project also does uh, plantation pages. Um, so maybe somebody has one they wanna share. I can share that in a little bit. Just drop it into the chat. Um, so you can you can add that to a profile too. And you can see this one is linking to the story has uh, information about other people. So it's linking to their profiles on Wikitree as well. So you can go right to that profile, which is pretty great <laughs> when you're writing out the biography. Okay, and so this also has a section on slave owners and a note about being enslaved at Travel's Rest Plantation. And then it's linked here to Mary McConnell White Overton. So you can see all about that and see what the links are there. And here are all the sources again. So there's just a lot you can do with a profile on Wikitree. Um, just lots of options. Another aspect of the uh, profile that you can look at is to see all the changes that have been made to the profile. So when you go into a profile, you can see what was changed. You can even go into the actual change that was made. Let's go down here to we can see the before and after of a change that was made, which is kind of nice because if there's a, maybe a mistake was made, you can see what the mistake was and go ahead and fix that. Okay, Preston Taylor is in our next ancestor. And he's at 168 connections, another notable connection. Quite a few categories connected to him. Another Greenwood Cemetery, Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> it's great. Uh, yeah. Preston actually was the founder of the cemetery. Nice. So when you go in, his his burial spot is right there at the front in his circle. Wow. I oh, spent some time on his uh, profile. Just, um, oh, I'm glad that someone um, added his infant son because I knew about Hattie, but, um, and I had heard mention of a son in the papers. Yeah, and it looks like we've got um, a military sticker for the Civil War service. So that's great. Uh, just another way to highlight something about this ancestor. And another great, oh, and we have even a picture of the gravesite. So that's wonderful. Love to see that. Oh, it looks like somebody's created a space page, Tania. <laughs> yes, yes, so I this, did. This, <laughs> this is what I was talking about. You can link it to the space page if that has a uh, if it's relevant to the ancestor profile. So this is a great example. Awesome. This is great, Tania. Yeah, this is one Wonderful. of the things we'll be working on in the new year is building up some of the content for um, the uh, history of. of African-Americans in Nashville. Awesome, that's like so exciting. All right. So yeah, lots you can do. Um, a free space page can be for anything really. Um, just wanna to mention too, another way you can use free space pages is for one place studies. 
So for instance, if there's a um, maybe a neighborhood within Nashville or Shreveport or even a street or a house, um, you can actually have a one place study for that location. So if anybody's interested in that, definitely look into starting a one place study They're They're pretty great. They're kind of addictive though. That's the wording. <laughs> okay, so our next ancestor is Simela Shepherd Moore. And another notable connection, 22 degrees away from me, getting closer. <laughs> and she has 218 connections. So Hermitage it must be a smaller um, part of Nashville, it looks like. So that would be great one place study. Maybe somebody wants to start a one place study for that place. <laughs> She's got several categories on her profile, American musicians. Uh, it looks like we have um, Fisk Jubilee Singers, even a, a category for that. That's wonderful. And Fisk University. Great. Yes, that's where he met. And I'd love to see wife, right? Um, no, I have to think about which one. But... <laughs> I love to see these pictures. Anyway, go ahead. That's wonderful. Wow. I love it. And of course, um, another aspect of WikiTree that's wonderful is DNA. Uh, our DNA tools are very feature rich. So if there were any um, DNA connections to Ella, they would be listed in this part of the profile. So once someone, once someone connects to the tree, um, they, there and they've added a DNA information, which just is not the raw data. It's just the the fact that you took a test and where it was taken, and the indicators like your if you have a GED match okay. that would go there, or your ancestor user ID goes there, and then it populates out within 24 hours out to the tree to people who would be a connection, a DNA connection to you. So. That's that's how that works. Um, there's a lot more to DNA on WikiTree. Um, there's a wonderful uh, presentation that was done by Max during WikiTree Day. So that's out on our YouTube channel. That's WikiTreeers on YouTube. Definitely something to worth worth checking out if you're interested in DNA. Okay, our next profile is Richard Henry Boyd. Another notable connection. And another great picture, <laughs> 28 degrees from me. Okay, so he has 123 connections within seven degrees. And here we go. He's a publisher, Baptist minister. So he has all those categories that are associated with those things. And... Here we have a section on the research notes talking about um, the discrepancy between a passport application for his son versus what the uh, Find a Grave Memorial has. So that's just an example of how you can really get down to the nitty gritty of working through, you know, maybe some conflicts in the, the data or the, the sources. Okay, Callie Guy House is our last one. And here's her profile. 175 connections have been are set up for her. I think that we added all of those. Um, we'll check the stats sheet in just a moment. Uh, another notable connection. And you'll see another cemetery, Mount, Mount Ararat Cemetery in Nashville. Is that one that some of our society members have spent some time researching? Or has Greenwood been keeping you all busy? So <laughs> they're all connected. So Mount Ararat was the first African-American cemetery, and now it's owned by Greenwood Cemetery. So there's Mount Ararat, Greenwood Cemetery, and Greenwood Cemetery West. So they're all 
they're this conglomerate lo located nearby mm. each other. Thousands, <laughs> thousands of ancestors, right? Yes. <laughs> That's a big, big job. All right, here are the stats. So it looks like we added over 1,500 profiles. Or no, that's how many, I'm sorry, I read it wrong. <laughs> so this is the total profiles that, that are connected within seven degrees to these ancestors. But if you scroll to the bottom, we added over a thousand of those. And here are the total number that were added per ancestor. So that's really exciting. Um, we did in this column, the second to last column, we have the profiles edited. You can see what everybody was working on. Um, not everybody added profiles. Some people were adding um, stickers or working on biographies or looking up family search images. So a lot of different um, tasks that can be done during the challenge week. And so that's what that's what was done. And a total of over 5,000 edits were made during the week. So that's wonderful. And it 45. looks like the, Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was going to oh, say, I was just gonna like say the, there were... uh, new profiles were pretty well spread out across the seven. You know, it looks like people got excited about the third starting profile, but no one got left out and everyone got at least uh got over a hundred you know mm -hmm. fairly close relatives right people who are yeah in seven steps so hopefully it just increases the the presence you know of these yeah. seven um folks on the tree and and uh for those following you know it's kind of serves as cousin bait you know because um these results come up pretty quickly on on wiki tree so maybe we'll find some people who aren't connected to the society who are also interested in in the folks you chose for us yeah and the, just another more chances for uh, people to come and find their family on you know wiki tree find connections to the tree it's the, they're going to be able to connect that much quicker and i think everybody's connected is that correct let me just double check i think yeah, everybody was has a connection. Right. I I was yeah, through connected. and I didn't see that 175 connections on uh Prince Albert Ewing's uh profile, but he has, you know, he also has them. I just didn't see it up at the top there. Um oh, it, he, was his he, connection to the tree quite recent? Um, I was just wondering too, uh, he doesn't have the notable tag does he not have maybe he's just isn't a regular he guy notable <laughs> you know maybe oh. maybe not okay what makes him for some reason i was thinking he was a notable but yeah yeah <laughs> why did y'all pick uh mr young he's the first black lawyer in tennessee oh neat. yeah so that's the kind of thing that people don't write about on wikipedia but yeah but uh, just a pioneer in his field, you know, getting to be yeah. legally recognized to practice the law, you know, by his peers and have to push his way into that profession. Yeah. That's great. He should be notable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, he's notable to us, by golly. Yeah. Uh, a magistrate. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll that. work on that. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, go write him up. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, profile two, or maybe one of us will. Oh, we could see the article. Yes. <laughs> Denise, did you want to did you want to share something, Denise? Well, I I was going to say what what had just been said. Um, if, if there is a Wikipedia page on him, he can be identified as a notable. Um, we would need a representative from the notables team to. Um, tell you more about that. They know more about what constitute a notable, but because he was the first black lawyer in in Tennessee. Oh, wait, I in, misspoke. Nashville. <laughs> Sorry. In, in Nashville. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But but still, you know, yeah. that's a major city in the state of Tennessee. 
Yeah. So but that's it's not. highly possible that he could still be identified as a notable. And then we could put a category on there that a Wikipedia page is needed. Yeah. Oh, I suppose so. But, you know, it may just be enough for us that he is was a leading figure in his community. Yes. You know? That he doesn't yes. have written about in encyclopedias and newspapers and books, you know. Correct. That to Nashville, he's an important man. He's someone we want to recognize and learn more about. All right. So does anybody have any questions that they or anything they wanted to share on what they were working on this week? I was wondering what people found that was interesting. All right. Yes. Let's, let's go to them. Them, you know? Oh, yeah. Because maybe it'll be interesting to all of us. There were quite a few interesting finds this week. So um, I can go through what the uh, top seven were. If you guys oh, like. yeah. We had a have a poll right on at the end of the week to say, um, uh, what fo folks found, you know, yeah. uh, their top seven since we have a uh, seven people and seven day days and seven degrees of. <laughs> it's all yeah. about the seven. <laughs> okay, so um, one of the interesting finds is near here near at the top can everybody see the page okay and it's big oh, enough yeah, it's real big okay so uh william edmondson was an african-american and a sculptor from nashville tennessee and he was exhibited in new york city's museum of modern art in 1937 at the same time there's another african-american named william edmondson but hailing from spokane washington also noted that he was a singer and actor also active in New York City in the 1930s. Wow. So that was really interesting to me too. Yeah, because they both had to keep going, not, no, I'm the other William Edmondson, <laughs> of the singers. Maybe they were good colleagues. <laughs> and one of the other uh, interesting finds that was on the top of the survey um, was for Julia Arvia Ewing Haddix. Uh, she's the granddaughter of Prince Albert Ewing, managed the Haddock's Pharmacy in Nashville, her husband's business after his death. She managed the pharmacy for several years in the 50s and 60s until her son took it over. When it closed in 2017 after her son's death, it was said to be one of Nashville's oldest Black-owned businesses. So that's really neat. The next one was this one um, under Preston Taylor, Levi Mallory uh, and Ida were the parents of Ida, wife of Preston Taylor. So Levi and Ida had an interracial marriage and they were charged with violating Tennessee's laws prohibiting that. So according to newspaper accounts, it was the first case of its kind to reach federal court. Well, unfortunately, he was murdered so the suit was dismissed. And um, Houston's daughter, um, Hattie, married into the Mallory family as well. I didn't um, ever learn, like, um, was it that um, Hattie got married and then um, her father, you know, um, got to know the Mallory's and met Ida? Or was it that... Um, you know, Preston mm -hmm. knew the Mallory's and then introduced one of their um, young men to his daughter. Yeah, I don't know. That is the next interesting find um, that was at the top of the survey was uh, the daughter, Hattie Tyree. She's the daughter of Preston Taylor. She had an interesting mar marriage history. Uh, it seems she took great pains to hide her first marriage. Uh, because her second marriage is called her first, her third is called her second, and so on. <laughs> oh, if so, it wasn't worth uh, mentioning. Her, <laughs> her second husband, Henry Valerie, died tragically a year after their marriage, and she then married a third time to Albert Sylvester in Chicago. After that marriage failed, she was apparently under the impression that the marriage had been, had been invalid anyway, because she, she thought there was a court order placed on his previous divorce 
which barred him from remarrying. And then she married a fourth time to Samuel Franklin Tyree without legal, legally separating from Sylvester. So Tyree sued her and was granted an annulment. Because she was technically a bigamist when they married. Right. Oh, so were half of my East Tennessee relatives because ain't nobody in the mountains had money for a divorce. So they just married the second time in the next county over. <laughs> oh, okay. So the next one is Washington Spradling, uh, father in law of Preston Taylor. There was a, a lot of the interesting finds were on the Preston Taylor. Oh, yeah. Um, Washington was DC's a wealthy, seven. wealthy man. So he was a barber with an interesting quirk regarding his pricing. To be fair, he was also a real estate speculator, which is how he really made his money. So the following account is in his obituary. There is one peculiarity about the deceased that is worth mentioning. He never would raise his price on his old customers, no matter what might be the exigencies of the times or the fluctuations in trade and currency. 40 years ago, he charged five cents for shaving. 20 year ago, years ago, he charged five cents for shaving. And whoever was once shaved at his shop for that price could always be shaved there for the same. So I, I thought that was really interesting too. It's kind of neat, actually. Okay, so the next one, there is a lot of interesting finds about him specifically too. Okay, so we have, uh, we did William Edmondson. We did Levi, we did Washington, Spradley, Hattie Tyree. Okay, so the next one is Di Dr. Irene Caldwell. Is it hypes or hips? I, I'm not sure. I'm going know. hips with the double letter because I always use a short vowel before. The okay. Book. Then sometimes you know. <laughs> <laughs> so she's a great, great daughter of. S. Shepard, and she was the assistant superintendent of schools in Washington, D.C. in the 50s and 60s, a professor at Howard University, and there are 193, at least 193 articles on newspapers.com where she is mentioned as a speaker, educator, volunteer, etc., from 1937 to 1965. Irene played a leading role in des desegregation in the nation's capital, and she's a graduate of Strait College, New Orleans. A B degree from Howard University and a PhD from New York University. Oh. Yeah. So are there Harvard alum or not Harvard, Howard alumni on the call? On the what? I'm sorry. Oh, on the oh, call. on this on our call tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Do we have any out there? <laughs> yeah, not now. Um, okay. What What's that? Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, I have to hail hail to old Purdue myself. <laughs> All right. And the next one is Theodore Martin Alexander. A fourth degree connection to Shepard was an insurance broker. He co-founded the Atlanta Negro Voters League in 1937. Two decades later, he kept the Montgomery bus boycott alive by contracting with Lloyd's of London to replace policies that were canceled by white-owned insurance companies. So there are your seven top interesting finds, but there are, as you can see, there are several interesting finds uh, on the page. Does anybody have any that they maybe didn't get, get on the page in time or they want to share or any um, anything they'd like to share? Just a profile that they're really proud of that they'd like to show off. We can have you share your screen or I can go there, whichever way you'd like to do it. This next section is military profiles and looks like we have several that have been added to this section. Oh, that reminds me. I was hoping someone could find Preston Taylor's pension file in DC this weekend. Oh, oh my email. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be great. Oh, and it looks like we have somebody entered um, under the list of free space pages. It's uh, they've 
created a Spotify playlist for Nashville Wiki Trees Sub Challenge 17, featuring CC7 musicians like oh, notable Flor Florino Flornoy Egan Miller and his two famous brothers, Irving and is it Guitar? Guitar. Guitar? Yeah. Guitar? I don't know. Is he named for a guitar or is it just a cool French name? <laughs> <laughs> so that's linked in there. Guess I better go play it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so those would be all musicians that have music available with... on Spotify and are within seven family of connections them. of our seven starting people. Yeah. Kintard, the fifth child, Nanette says. Some of the other records said. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. I always find it really interesting, too, to see where all people in the pro with the profiles. Um, Barbados, Sweden, Guyana. I think oh, we were even in China, weren't we? I thought I yeah, saw something someone, about... Yeah, someone said that uh, someone in their CC7... Uh, married someone from China so they were looking for help with those records <laughs> yeah really, in the days of WikiTree we uh liked it when those connections got shorter and so we joked about trying to marry off our relatives into far off places so that we could pull people from you know Guyana or or uh, New Zealand or wherever we felt we didn't have enough connections. We thought, well, who's got an unmarried sister or brother-in-law, you know, <laughs> something like that. I just find it myself by going to. Um, if you go to tree apps, that's the one I was trying to show before that oh, it was stolen out of me. So no, right here on the tab on their profile. Oh, the tree apps tab. And then was there someone else's not just I just wanted to show see. that the default the default uh thing there is the def the I think it's actually the dynamic tree but oh I see um, yeah who knows what I used last because I don't use uh these very much so you can see there if you do a drop down there Karen mm -hmm. you can see all the different ways that you can view this ancestors um different ways to view his tree, the timeline, mm -hmm. family portraits even within uh, his family. So just a lot of great ways to view the information that's on WikiTree connected to this ancestor. So definitely recommend checking that out. There's even a game. <laughs> oh, yes, I forgot. I, I saw the release of Fando, but uh, <laughs> um, don't so you're supposed to place all the ancestors in the proper spot on the chart. So maybe you better just do your own. Uh, <laughs> and you, but it, you it is a, into the chart. Uh, that's silly. That's cute. yeah. So it, it's uh, just there's a lot, a lot of um, a lot you can do is what I was right. trying to just show. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, share my screen again. Okay, I'm gonna. You can share right over me, or I'll find a stop. Um, I just want to share. About two, maybe. I yes. still six degrees yes. right here. Yes. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm I'm just putting in. You can change the central person to this one. I just changed it to Preston Taylor. So you can see it's filling in here. Um, okay, let me see where we started with Preston. We started. Where is he at? Taylor 169. So we added 161 profiles. Oh, so he only had eight relatives on the tree a week ago. Yeah. So this is a really great, um, we have before and after that we'll share with everyone um, it, uh, later, but I just wanted to share kind of what it looked like. So there's seven degrees. And you can see where all the connections are. So mm -hmm. degree two, there's 18 people connected to him there. Uh, degree one, of course, is uh, his parents, siblings, spouses, and children. Uh, but degree two is another, uh, well, degree out, <laughs> another step out from him. And then degree three, we have 45. So it, this is another um, 
way that you could view the information about what was added to him. I believe we have before and after shots that will be we'll, we can uh, forward on to y'all and share that because it's great to see the before and after when we start with eight or six and then it just balloons out. So that's a lot of fun. So you can just change the ID uh, and change it. Let me grab another profile ID here. Oh, and I heard uh, a little bird say that um, uh, there might be some phone charts in your email. <laughs> Wait, I didn't hear you. What did you say, Karen? Oh, I heard that Eowyn might have sent Azure some fan charts. But um, this is fun, too. <laughs> I want to go see how I connect to everyone. Yeah, that's or that's, we could that's something we could look at uh um like how do people connect to the tree? Are you connected to the tree? I am connected to the tree. Oh cool. So we can awesome. see. Yeah. Do you we'll... want to share oh, your screen and oh sure. It? Yeah. Okay, let me great. let me oh. yeah, I um I was putting my family members in and got connected really quickly because somebody some people, some bodies have been doing work. <laughs> so let me share my screen. All right. All right. Um, uh, what are the uh, IDs? Let's do. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, have you opened the the score sheet lately? Okay. How do I get um, the score sheet? I'll, I'll drop I'm going to get the URL or I'm just going to get it and drop okay. it in the chat. That would be great. Go. All right. Right at the top. All right, got it. All right, cool. So let me go to Josephine. So do you have a favorite or are you just going to pick this one? Uh, I'll start with Josephine. All right, so I am 45 degrees from Josephine. And right, let's... she's the one who's got the way out there connections. Somebody yeah, must... she's got the most, I think, right? That sounds like 45 connections. Person. Adding and yeah, adding if you go to um, if you go to her wiki tree ID up in the upper right hand corner, the Groves three six 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 Groves uh, another inch up. Wait, oh up here. Okay, okay here we uh -huh. go. And then you can uh, do connection to me. It's the second oh, yeah, relationship. Oh, connection to me. All right, connection yeah, to relationship me. is a blood relationship or yeah. a parent child link. You know, well, people who can um, who have step parents or are adopted can put yeah. anything they like in their mother father fields just if you're using dna you might prefer to put your biological folks there and if you put somebody else there we just ask that you mark the relationship non-biological cool. so here's here's the path to her yeah. <laughs> so oh uh, i like i like clicking that alternative view generational path which is just down into the left of the cursor yeah, I just clicked okay. it because I had, I, I like, I, when I look at these, I like to see me first and then how I get to them. It's a little oh, bit easier. Yeah. For and then me I to always trace. push that, uh, that long alternative view button because I okay, like, to see, like, which way in time we're going, you know, because we're going to what, um, Tanae has got a great great grandfather, Mr. McNair, and then that, um, goes you know his yes brother. I, so i like to see the general that that other one because okay it, um just because okay. the generations up and down in time so i can see we yes. go back in time four generations from you and then to the wife and the brother and then and then over um you know and sometimes i look at like where <laughs> where there's a change in communities you yes. know like um like, are you bouncing to, uh, are you staying in Tennessee or are you bouncing off mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, colonial Massachusetts or something? Because somebody's got a brother-in-law that's in the Sons of the American Revolution. Um, Denise, did you have something you wanted to share? <laughs> well, I, I was had an alternative way to see this, but you're there now, so oh. I... I, I won't worry about that. Okay. Sorry. Let me lower my hand. <laughs> oh, no worries. <laughs> I just don't didn't want to miss you. <laughs> and Elaine oh. mentions 
she bets that connection will be a lot shorter a year or so from oh, now. Oh yes, because yeah. it's Mia keeps liking Wiki Tree, and then she looks. At yeah, and the, well, I'm gonna add all my near cousins, <laughs> and, their and then all of a sudden somebody's gonna, you know, mm -hmm. marry into a relation of of uh, Miss uh, Mrs. Hallways, and there you go. Well, you yeah, there's the check there's some of the other ancestors. ancestors. All right, so let me go to William Emerson. Let me close this. So 172 connections he has, and I'm 43 degrees away from him. Uh, through my same line, my McNair ancestor. Is that Bass in Ohio? In the middle, like 22, 20? I was just wondering. No, this oh, is North Carolina. Carolina. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah all right and then we'll go to what to ewing he has 309 oh wait it's not going to tell me because his number isn't here but you can oh, 36 oh 36 yeah, degrees okay go. so oh, he's yeah. a little closer nice <laughs> um okay so this is yeah also through that McNair line of mine all right he's a little oh, closer we gotta get you some cousins on the other lines <laughs> yeah so okay this week's feature profile, Dory Miller. Since I started becoming serious about WikiTree, he's I'm the closest connected to a feature profile. Um, I'm only like 17 degrees away. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, yeah. Preston Taylor, 41 degrees. Ah, we've gotten further away. <laughs> oh, sometimes people do some pruning and they cut off a whole branch. We have to say sorry for your loss. All right, still that McNair branch. All right, uh, Ella Shepard. She is 35 degrees separated from me. Um, probably that McNair line. Most of my connections are through this McNair line. Interesting. Although Dory Miller is not. But oh, most of my connections are. So let's see. Then we have Richard Henry Boyd. 38 degrees. Oh, got a little bit further. <laughs> so again, through my McNair line. Same people all through here. Okay. And then Kelly House Guy. Kelly Guy House, excuse me. I am 52. I'm really far oh. from her. But that's interesting. It can go map out that far. Yeah. Yeah. And and it'll, you know, that's one great thing is that these profiles all, you know, we're everybody will probably still be working on them. Yes. <laughs> Trying yes. to keep adding to them and growing them out even more so. definitely utah oh there's a connection in utah so I, I really like the degrees um because when i share with people i always reference the game six degrees of kevin bacon <laughs> and, so it's like, right? you and know that's the who the focus person was for the first couple years really year. yeah really? and then it changed to an author um because in 2015 aj jacobs Yes. The global His... family reunion and invited the entire human race. Yes. They did at least get Dr. Gates to show up. But... <laughs> but it'll be interesting to see how this evolves over time. Yeah. So, so yeah, this is cool. I'll stop sharing my screen. Okay. okay. There's a new I want to share um, another view that we have. Um, I finally got it to work again for me. Uh, so I'll just share that real quick. Um, this is another. Um, view on the tree apps that's available it's with wiki tree plus maps option on here and so what you can do is you can put in um, your profile so i'm looking at preston taylor here and if you scroll out you can see the nuclear family of taylor and their migration pattern or you can change it to descendants. So just uh, another way to view the information, which is really interesting to me. The other one that we that will be available on the slideshow that will um, be made available to y'all is the um, connections with the seven degrees, um, the the migration pattern of the all those 
profiles um, are added. So you'll be able to see that as well. So that could be Hattie or, or her mom going up to Chicago there um, where we see them uh, going to Chicago and then having them um, coming back down to Tennessee. Yeah. Oh, and Elaine mentions that there is a helpful data doctor, which data doctors is a project on Wikitree where we go in and um, we're alerted that something needs fixed on a profile. And so that's, that's what the data doctors do. And that's what she's mentioning. There's one of those suggestions that is generated on ancestor profiles that tells us of a possible parent or spouse that might already be on Wikitree. So mm -hmm. that's another uh, you know, way that we can keep adding to these profiles. So that's kind of exciting. The same thing I think is in place for Wikidata. If there's a, a possible uh, connection on Wikidata for the person, um, there's a, a suggestion generated for that as well. Oh yeah, that's the data site that drives um, Wikipedia, right? So, so for our more notable folks like Reverend Taylor, um, if someone has added uh, a parent on, uh, you know, this site that drives under Wikipedia, and and WikiTree connects to it too, because uh, um, you can link uh, back from Wikidata a Wikimedia Foundation project back to Wikitree with their person ID. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is Shepard and these are her descendants. You can put a nuclear family as an option as well. So this should, would be showing nine profiles. Just have to give it a second to <laughs> Elaine, yeah, Karen made her own Wikidata pro, uh, page. <laughs> so you have a Wikidata. Oh, I did. Yeah, I, I can't remember if someone tried to take it off because I'm, you know, not very notable uh, <laughs> outside of this room, <laughs> you know. Uh, but yeah, I did. Well, and Wikidata is a little bit different too. I think there are... Um, there are pages on Wikidata that there's not a Wikipedia profile for. So um, like some locations or um, different things like that. So I did add a, a few uh, small communities myself in the past week, but I'm, I can't remember if they were related to the challenge where they weren't on Wiki, Wikipedia and Wikidata yet. So I just went and added them. <laughs> I like this descendants because you know what I'm thinking? Like think about family reunion, right? You have the ancestral uh, couple and then you could show where all the descendants have migrated to if everyone, you know, does a wiki tree profile. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really great. I was going to put in, um, which, which one is the one that has a lot of, uh, well, we'll just check each of these, but I want to open up, um, Groves had the, the most profiles, I think, yeah. So it defaults to ancestors. But you can change it to nuclear, which would be everybody, uh, descendants in, and uh, or nuclear would just be the ones uh, within one degree of her, I think, right? Whereas descendants would be all her descendants. Also, oh, we'd have to get profiles. Greg or Alesh or somebody to come and tell us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so nuclear family was showing 10, I think. Yeah. So uh, siblings probably, as well as children and, and parents. Yeah, they're really interesting. So Montgomery, so Alabama, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, into Georgia, it looks like. And here's Boyd. Yep. 
<laughs> All right. So is there anything else that anybody would like to see or share or talk about? We had a lot of fun this week. <laughs> There's yeah. a lot going on in the chat. I want to come to Nashville and research at the State Archives. We have oh, a wow. beautiful State Archives. It was just I know. opened. I haven't been there 20, since I was 20, 18. 2021. Yep. Wow. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, if you go to the Renaissance Festival outside of Nashville, that is my high school best friend's cousin place. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, no, this is a lot of great work done by all the volunteers to build out the family trees of these these notables. So thank you all, my goodness. So exciting. And good night, Cassie. Bye, Everyone. Cassie. Thank you. <laughs> that time. <laughs> right. It was it's wonderful seeing everybody and talking and sharing and, work, you know, seeing all this. Thanks, Nanette. Yeah. Well, thank you, WikiTree volunteers, for your efforts and for our society members that are on. You'll see me share more about WikiTree in the coming year. There's a lot of great things we can do as a society to further our mission. And I believe WikiTree is a great platform for that. So this is just a start. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Bye, everybody. All right. Thank Have you. Good night. night.